A key point to this product is there is no need to put your hands into the back of your kayak to tighten anything. Everything is all tightened outside and they're installed from the outside. Good day, Ian here from FPV Power. It's going to go through and explain our new range of dash mount products. Uh, and these are dash mount panel mount, so you can mount them uh, in the hull of your kayak. Uh, and they consist of a, this is a tw uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter port with the weatherproof cover. And this is a USB charging, 2 amps dual port, and um, it has a weatherproof cover as well. So with this, um, we'll go through one by one and explain um, how The most important thing about a kayak is uh, keeping everything um, watertight. And uh, so with these, these are the mounts that we've um, developed. So this is a dual panel or double, double hole mount and it's a single hole, single panel. So you can put one, uh, either a USB or you can put a the cigarette port, so depending on what you want to install. So, and with uh, the design, We've got this um, EVA foam, very, very uh, hard foam, and that's the, uh, the backing gasket that would, once you put two holes or a single hole into your hull, uh, that will go on, on top, and the mount will go on right at the front. Then you put your stainless steel screws, which were uh, supplied, on there, and that would keep everything sealed uh, against the hull of the kayak. Uh, here in front of me is a dual port um, USB charger and it charges at 2.1 amps and as you can see it's got a nice weather shield cover when not in use and at the back you've got your negative positive connection you've got a gasket that's uh, supplied and then you also got your nut at the back to tighten against when you're installing so with the actual um, the wire and cabling and if, of course it is with our FPV power waterproof connector that we use on across the range of our products. And on the uh, connection side, these are carefully um, designed so that there is a sleeve. So once you push them in, and you notice that it's basically a single insert, and then they'll lock up. If you were to pull it open, you end up sort of slightly damaging the, the locking mechanism. That is on here but you can always manipulate it again with pliers so i'm not going to push it in all the way as you can see the holes there so when you push it in the indent will actually grab and lock into that place so, but once you push them up really tight uh, this plastic sleeve will seal up against the back so this is not a hundred percent uh, waterproof solution but it is a highly water resistant uh, design that we have here and in front of us here um, this is the uh, 12 volt cigarette uh, lighter port. So the cigarette plug port, uh, as, as you can see, it's got a nice weather uh, weather shield uh, cover as well. And the same deal, there's a uh, gasket which we've supplied. And we've also got the uh, plastic nut at the back to tighten against when you're installing. And same thing with the uh, with harness waterproof uh, on this end. And then you've got your carefully thought after design to connect to the positive and negative on the other end. So with the installations, um, it comprises of the, uh, the the main gasket for the actual panel bracket, then the actual bracket itself, which is plastic or ABS, and then you've got your um, device, uh, your port, sorry. Uh, this is a 12 volt uh, cigarette port I'm using for this example, or you can use the USB, and of course that comes with a, a gasket, which is there, and you also have the um, the nut, the backing nut. And on the side here, what do we have? We have a, um, these are spacers, and I'll go through uh, what they are used for. So they come like this, uh, and then you basically push it out, and then this middle part, throw it away. This is just to ensure that it doesn't get squashed or deformed during transportation. So this is just two of them here per packet. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how we install it. So make note that the gasket has to be on your cigarette port or your USB, and then that goes onto your plastic or ABS uh, bracket, like so. So that creates a waterproof seal, let's push it against that. And then you put your backing nut at the back, which will tighten against the uh, plastic or the ABS uh, bracket, the, the panel mount, like so, nice and tight. Of course, you wanna just align it so it's perpendicular, looking good, just like that. Tighten it, tighten it by hand, and once it's tight, she ain't gonna move nowhere. There we go. 
you can see, beautiful. There's a nice uh, water seal at the front created. And then at the back, your main gasket, you put it like this. And then from there, you put your um, supplied stainless steel screws onto these points. As you can see, the gasket's got the holes already all punched out, aligned perfectly. And then they will create a beautiful seal against um, your kayak hull. And uh, we'll show you pictures of it installed. Now, the spaces that we talked about, so these these are throw these away, don't need that, you want uh, these things. So let's say the spacing behind your hull, you don't have that clearance. Uh, of course, you need to add your cables as well, your wiring harness. Let's say you, you're working with a very limited space behind, uh, depending which part of the cockpit in your kayak that you want. So we're going to unscrew this and show you what the spacer does. What the spacer does is it pushes the, um, the space needed, it actually pushes the panel, uh, the, the actual uh, port, where there's a cigarette port or the um, USB port, it pushes it forward so you can get some clearance. So what we do is we end up doing this, like this. We can put two for this, for this, this example. So that means we've thickened, we've added um, the space of two spaces, the phone spaces in front, which means the product actually sticks out. Now this is just going extreme. Uh, usually you put one or two, but if you need the, uh, to go extreme, you can. Uh, so that means, can you see how we've reduced? I'm just not going to tighten it tight because it gets quite hard to take apart, but just keep it. There we go. As you can see, once you tighten it, it compresses the foam and that will create the water, uh, uh, the water seal that we're after. And then once you put the thing at the back, notice how that the, the, the actual port sticking out at the back is only that much now. You've moved the whole port forward that much and you've saved that much at the back so that is basically the use of uh, the the spaces which are uh, um, optional part you can buy there we go so that's how it all goes together like so so the same thing we do with the cigarette lighter it's the same system um, process that we do for the USB charger as well they're all the same size so let's uh, go on to address the the heart of the system. Um, how does the power get distributed from FPV power batteries um, to the USB port and the cigarette lighter? And uh, what controls do we have? Uh, so the controls we have is on and off, and we do it by a cleverly uh, designed um, harness. So let's go ahead. So there is the main harness, which is here, and then there is the switch. So with the switch, oh, where is it gone? Hit the floor. Hang on. There we go. So with the switch here, it has a waterproof um, covering on the front. There we go. So that once you drill your hole in your hull, once you push it through, it will actually lock automatically in place due to the um, the tension. On, of the, uh, on the sides as you can see that's the that's the design of this uh, on off switch so basically you have power or you cut off power so let's go ahead and explain the um, harness now the harness is fused for your uh, convenience it's already fused and the fuse can be changed accordingly and um, moving forward this goes to your battery like so so we've got a that's that, that's the 17 and a half that we've got here. Let's just plug it in. So this harness has power, like so. And then pass the fuse. And then these two ports here, it actually splits to three. So these two ports, or jacks, uh, connects to your um, devices. Now, we're gonna use the USB, because that does illuminate uh, when you as a supply power so we can actually see so let me just plug this in but not push it all the way because I don't want the terminal to be locked in place so I'm just going to just put it on like that because when we push it all the way see the hole as an indent it actually locks it in place which means it's like a single use but you can always pull it out and then uh, readjust it with the pliers if you want so that is plugged in positive uh, negative correctly red and black um, and what we do is we plug it here so I've plugged it into one of the ports and the rest can be um, 
plugged into the uh, cigarette lighter if you want to. Uh, if not, you can, you can cap that off. So, is there power even though it's plugged in? The battery is here, but there's no power. Why? Because uh, you need to control it via the switch. So with this uh, harness, as you can see, this is the harness that the switch connects to. And you can tell the difference because the uh, the terminals on the switch is much smaller than the terminals on the uh, USB and the cigarette lighter. See that? There's two sizes there. So I'm just going to wire it up. Uh, and there's no order in particular, but just for good practice, uh, we'll just... Uh, correct, so the switch has, has no, has no um, polarity. Sorry, there's not even a mark on it. So it's, there's no polarity. I'm just going to put it in halfway, like so, and then plug this switch into here. I'll just leave it up there for now. Can you see this thing here? There we go. We've got power. No power. Let's see, get a bit of a focus here. There we go. The switch turns on. The power to the um, USB charger off. So at the end of the day, is very simple term. This switch and this harness controls on and off to your cigarette lighter port and your um, and your uh, USB charger. So you would have a system where you would mount your products via a panel mount, plus you need to drill a hole to accommodate for a switch. Let's say you have it here, then you have the switch here, or, or the switch can be wh wherever. Um, and you're not limited by the length of these cables. We do have a range of extension cables from 0 0.6 meters, I believe, 0 0.6 meters, uh, 1.2 and 1.8 meters. So uh, they're just extension cables. That's male and female, male and female. So that can be all um, used to uh, suit your setup. So basically mm -hmm. you would have, let's say your USB, your cigarette port, and then a switch mm -hmm. mounted conveniently somewhere in your cockpit, which you can go on, off. And then of course these will be on and off. Thank you.